One of the most frequent visits that I get in my office as a pediatrician is the child with the chronic cough. They're coming in, they're coughing for four, six weeks at a time. Maybe it's in the winter, maybe it's in the summer, uh, and there's no obvious reason for this happening. And we kind of go through an algorithm in our head. Is it worse when they lie down? Is it, wor you know, is it the same when they're sitting up? Is it worse when they're exercising, when they're not exercising? Uh, and for a little baby, that may be just as much as you know, crawling around and giggling and, and doing things babies do. But when, when, when should you dig deeper and try to figure out what that, uh, what that chronic cough is? But you start to ask, what is the quality of the coughing? Is it worse at night? And that one's a big red flag. If your child is having coughing that is worse in the middle of the night, especially it's waking them up at night or first thing in the morning, nine times out of ten that's going to be asthma. And quite frequently I hear from people, but my child's not wheezing. I don't hear any wheezing. Well, chronic coughing is just your child trying to pop open their small airways and, and it's a sign of inflammation that it's happening at night. Wouldn't it be nice to know that part of that is they're being exposed to an allergen that is causing all of this? Yes, we're going to start throwing medications at you because that's what we do as doctors. But again, going back to it, the more information we have, the more effective we're going to be at treating your child's allergies or asthma. And it may be that they're allergic to something. And there is tons of evidence that if we are very effective at just controlling the allergies, you may not need any asthma medications. If we can reduce a low level of inflammation that is going on at all times, we can reduce the amount of medicine we're giving you. Maybe we can get away with a lower dose of inhaled steroids. Maybe you don't need the inhaled steroids and the leukotriene inhibitors and multiple medications. We can reduce your albuterol intake, which is a really important one. Albuterol intake on its own is a signal of how severe is your child's asthma. If you're needing albuterol all the time, that's not a good sign. It means you that your child has a low level of inflammation going on at all times. If your child's coughing at night severely, now maybe they can sleep through the night because you're avoiding those allergic triggers. So there's an awful lot of reasons to know what is the exact trigger that is causing your child's asthma.